103.8. Matt Damon, really good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Just before we have the Jason Bourne chats, I just correct me if I'm wrong, but when you finished up filming in Berlin, did you head straight to Dublin? Then for a little bit of R and R. Yeah, in fact, we had uh, we had like a weekend free, and it was just happened to be the weekend that you two was was playing two shows in Dublin, and we went. That's where we'll go. Because Bono even mentioned you, I think, during the gig. Yeah, no, it was awesome. That gig was, I mean, that's like a bucket list thing. I've seen them, I don't know how many times. I mean, a, a, a whole number of times all over the place. But to be able to see them come home was was just epic and like been able to even socialize in Dublin as a matter of interest were you able to go out and have a few pints oh and, yeah and be yeah. kind of nearly left alone to a oh, certain completely. degree everybody was so unbelievably nice and um I mean we just yeah it was it, I, it couldn't have, it couldn't have been any better we had the kids with us it was it was lovely oh, great stuff yeah. well just before again we get into all things Jason Bourne just to rewind the clock and back to the Bourne identity because it just struck me about around that time, there was, seemed to be a lot of pressure on your shoulders just to make sure that this film, you know, got off on the right track. And there's a quote um, you said to the director at the time, Doug Lyman, you had said, Doug, my whole career is riding on your shoulders. So no pressure on old Doug there. <laughs> and, and, and where was that coming from? Like, why were you worried at the time? Well, you know, the standard rule of thumb is three strikes and you're out. And mm -hmm. I'd had two kind of pretty costly misses at the box office. And... Mm -hmm. And basically, it doesn't mean it's the end of your career. It just mm -hmm. it just makes things a lot tougher. And um, and what the first movie did was it 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 just it put me on the short list, mm -hmm. um, you know, which gave me access to all of these directors that I really wanted to work with. And and it's a director's medium. So mm -hmm. if you're with a great director, uh, you know, you have a much better chance of making a good film and uh, maybe even a great one. And uh, and and if you're not, then it's Look, and I've come out of obscurity before, you know, um, and, and Ben, in a way, did that. Ben, you know, kind of went into actor jail for a little while and, and wrote his way out of it like we did the first time. And, you know, and that's another, that's another way to do it, and he's done it brilliantly, but, it's, but it's, that's tough sledding. Now, when we move on to Jason Bourne now, like the success that you guys have been having with these films, like post-Edward Snowden, like how does that whole then uh, scenario then fit into the new film? Well, we always want them to feel like they're kind of torn from the headlines. And, um, you know, and Paul and I felt like, well, let's wait for some time to pass. Let's wait for the world to change a little bit. And and, um, and I think this kind of post-Snowden debate about surveillance versus versus our privacy and, and uh, you know, our security versus our privacy, like that's really the central debate of our time and and um and so it seemed like fertile territory to build a story around just a quick a uh, few questions to throw at you just to kind of get to know you just a little better in, in the short time that we have here matt <laughs> what is the greatest lesson a filmmaker has taught you um that's tough i've learned in, an incalculable amount from some really wonderful directors um, but i think the the thing that the, the common thread among all of the directors that I've worked with, the, the master directors, um, because they're all, you know, everybody does it differently, but um, it's, it's, it's this, it's this, um, this kind of absolute willingness to collaborate, this, this, mm -hmm. this need to collaborate, and that it's, that your, your, your loyalty is to the thing you're making, and it has nothing to do with ego, and ego is an absolute enemy. And it's it's the willingness of these people to s take suggestions from everywhere. It's like a battlefield of ideas. Mm -hmm. They come armed with their own ideas, but they're willing to abandon an idea if a better one presents itself. Um, and, and, and that's why even like the relationship you have with Paul Greengrass, because he calls you a brother as well. So it's to deform that that bond. And uh, sorry, just, and there's another quick one because uh, I know we're getting the wrap. But uh, what's the most emotional moment you've had making a movie? Boy, well, one of them would definitely be when we made Goodwill Hunting. The first day uh, we went to set, um, Ben and I were there. We were on set as writers because we weren't working that day as actors. And Robin Williams and Stellan Skarsgård shot the very first scene in that movie, and they were sitting across from each other. Just a simple scene, but as they started to speak the words that we'd written, I mean, I just, I just, tears just started rolling down my face. I just couldn't. It was just. Wonderful. It was uh, d deeply when you when you when you pull something out of thin air or you know however that happens however something comes to you whatever's responsible for that, um, but to know that it wouldn't have existed but for the work that you'd done you know and mm -hmm. to have done it with Ben and be standing there with him and watch these actors that we revered saying our words was uh, was was pretty. 
pretty pretty amazing. Fast forward a year later, and there you are, then winning the Oscar for the even surreal again. Yeah. Even more surreal. Yeah, yeah. Well, unfortunately, time is up against us. I have to wrap things up, but I could spend all day talking to you. Me Thank too, you so man. much for your Me time, too, man. Yeah. Lovely to meet Cheers. you. Yeah, you Great. as well. Yeah. Spin. 103.8.